Stability AI released five control net models today under control LoRa's. The first is the depth control net model. It uses a grayscale depth map which estimates the distances of different objects in a scene to produce a controlled output. The next is the canny edge model which I had covered earlier which detects and uses canny edges to generate a controlled output. The next two models are recolor and sketch. Both of them are very similar. Recolor is used to colorize black and white photos, while Sketch is designed to color in drawings. Finally, Revision is a clip version model that can be used to give images as input prompts. So rather than just text prompts, you can give multiple image inputs and it produces a generation based on those inputs. You can also do a mixture of image and text prompts. The 128 rank models are smaller at around 400 MB, while the 256 rank models are around 800 MB. The smaller models are slightly faster at the cost of being slightly worse. I'll first download all the rank 256 models manually by clicking the download button next to them. I'll also download the revision model and workflow. Finally, let's download all the Comfy Control LoRa workflows as well. Once downloaded, let's start Comfy UI. So before we begin, I'll first go inside the update folder of my Comfy install and run the update.bat file just to make sure that everything is up to date. Then I'll copy all the downloaded safe tensor files inside comfyui slash models slash control net folder. Now we also need some preprocessors to run some of these models as currently only the canny processor is built in. First, we'll need to install comfyui manager. Copy the git repository link. You'll also need git installed locally on your PC. Go inside the comfy UI slash custom notes folder and right click open in terminal or shift right click open in terminal to open a terminal window in that particular location. Then type git clone and paste the link to the git repository of comfy UI manager. Now run comfy as you normally would by double clicking run nvidia gpu.bat. There's a bunch of nodes we can install by clicking on manager, but we'll only install missing nodes as and when we need for now. Let's clear the current workflow and load the depth workflow. It will complain about missing Midas depth preprocessor node. Go to manager and click install missing nodes. It will give you all the different missing nodes. Press install and wait for it to finish. Once finished, close Comfy UI both the Chrome tab and the terminal and restart by running the bat file again. Restarting might take a while as it will download all the required dependencies for all the different preprocessors. Here's the web UI after it has finished. Make sure to load all the control net models manually by clicking on them. Adjust the thresholds as you'd like. I've already used this image and prompt with the other control in it canny model before, so I'm curious to see how it will do with depth. Here's the depth map generated. Here's the output by the SDXL base model. Honestly pretty good in terms of control net. I actually want to change the base model as the posing looks pretty good, but the output is meh. Genuinely, these outputs in terms of posing are significantly better than the 5 gig canny model that I'd used earlier. The only thing that depth is missing is the bag on the left hand, but that's a flaw of the depth map. Let's switch to canny model released by Stability AI and compare. I'll clear the workspace and load the canny basic workflow, making sure all the models are correct. Here's the canny edges detected and generated. Here's the output. The posing looks fine, but base model seems to be not great at producing outputs. All right, let's try with DynaVision now. Much better generation and the posing is still amazing. Honestly, these control net models are great out of the box. I want to experiment with the prompt and see how it does with other styles. Not terrible. I want to remove the negative prompt and try again. This doesn't look very traditional. Ah, okay, that was a flaw of me using the 3D animation model. Now the last interesting one is the revision, which isn't exactly control net. So after loading the workflow, I need to move the clip vision model from control net folder to the clip version folder. This was a mistake on my part. 
Now I need to choose two input images which should ideally be of the same size as the empty latent image. I've chosen two very different images just to see what happens but ideally those two images should be similar remove so you can get a consistent generation. Very very interesting outputs. Let's try a different resolution but with similar images. Pretty good generations keeping very similar theming as well as outputs. Honestly, much better outputs than what the base model produces by using text prompts. I wasn't able to run colorize workflow which was trained to colorize black and white photos due to a missing color blend node which Comfy UI manager was also not able to find. I'll also skip the sketch workflow for now, shouldn't be too hard on your own once you find the nodes. And that's it, hopefully I'll be able to run all 5 of these once R1111 supports them. Till then take care, bye.